for the beach or the pool. Women's wear now has room for your tool. <laughs> Adidas has launched its new pride collection featuring what appears to be a biological male model in a bathing suit meant for women. And I say appears because he's got a package that would throw out a FedEx driver's back. <laughs> Meanwhile, a different dude modeling the same swimsuit shows what it looks like with your hair in a fabulous updo. Hey, girl. Apparently, the waxing kit is sold separately. Uh, as former NCAA swimmer star Riley Gaines tweeted, Adidas could have at least labeled it unisex and, quote, women's swimsuits aren't accessorized with a bulge. <laughs> And she's right. When I was a kid, Adidas is supposed to stand for all day I dream about sex, <laughs> not all day I dream about shrinkage. <laughs> Michelle, I'll come to you first as a... <laughs> yeah. Michelle, as a birthing person, <laughs> were your fellow people who menstruate asking for this? Were they asking for this? Were any women asking for this? God, no. Um, no. <laughs> you know, Dylan Mulvaney has a little song that he sings on TikTok called Normalize the Bulge. Normalize the That's Bulge. I'm not sure if this is what he meant, she meant, but uh, it's happening. Um, <laughs> I'm getting to the point where there's no brand I can buy anymore and feel good about it. Like, Nike's too entangled with China. I don't like the, you know, the slave labor and yeah. the genocide and a couple of those things about China. My kids have been wearing Adidas, and now I feel like every day I dream about, you know, suicide. Um, <laughs> this is brutal. It's, 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 I wish I had this person's hips. I will say that. They're quite shapely. <laughs> um, but the rest of it, I'm glad I don't have. Um, this is, this is, again, I think what we're seeing is, I, I don't know what calculus these companies are, are taking. Mm -hmm. Because the Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light thing really backfired. I don't know if they're saying, hey, we got to jump on this. We got to get, we got to get talked about. I'm not sure if that's the calculus now. Yeah. We got to be politically correct and talk about. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling there may be some backlash. Yeah, I'm with you there. I feel like it's seeping into pop culture. Are you concerned in that regard as a TV writer that we're going to watch Paul McCartney saying, I saw them standing there? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I guess I was so disconcerted when I saw the picture. I re really thought that, that, I mean, I don't know how else to put this. I just thought she had taken a dump. <laughs> oh, <my> God! <laughs> and I thought, no, get out of the pool, really, lady. Get out of the pool. Uh, I, I don't know else to put I can't put it any other way. Yeah. Uh, it, what... what I actually like the, I mean, as somebody who, I mean, I don't know, maybe you, you and I are the same, like, we don't work out. Uh, I like the old-style men's bathing suits yeah. that were, like, you know, where they were yeah, yeah. wearing, the like, on the beach, and they are wearing, uh -huh. like, a T-shirt. And, yep, like, yep. if they could just have that and then just a regular old trunks, I'd be in. Yeah, like the singlet, the yeah, turn the singlet, of the century. Yeah, I'm in. Everybody looks good in that, even, like, like, fat guys who are wrestling in the 1930s <laughs> movies. It's like, I, I look better than that guy. <laughs> Give me the King uh, Kong Bundy. Yeah, exactly, no, no, right, no. right. Um... But I, what's weird about it is that, like, we're still, I mean, we're still talking about, like, this tiny, tiny subset yes. of people. It's so bizarre to me. Mm -hmm. like, the, like, I can't imagine you make any money. Like, yeah. the number of people who are going to run out and buy, even in a perfect world. Because I feel it's like it's going to be, like, what, off. six people? Yeah, that's what I mean. I feel like it would turn off more people than it would even court, given the population size. But like Again, from a distance, it looks like something else. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing I was going to ask you. Like, women have so many things they're self-conscious about. Like, is this now going to be a thing now? Women are worried that their penis doesn't look big enough at the beach? <laughs> like, like yeah. seriously, like, in five years, are people going to be getting Brazilian ball lifts, you know? Honestly, there have been bathing suit ads that I've seen that I have felt represented me less than this one did. <laughs> I don't have the penis, but the cleavage is about the same. <laughs> and we also, maybe, like, do we know, is this a trans person or is this just, like, a dude that likes wearing women's clothes? So my friend Keith wears my clothes all the time. Yeah. We're the same size, but he's just a he him who likes he hims. Okay. <laughs> We don't know. But I think uh, we should be we don't have an prepared answer. for a lot, for in the future, for women to be saying, does this penis make me look fat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. 
<laughs> it's coming. It's, it's, I have nothing to add. It's we all know it. We all know it's coming. Um, I will ask you this, though. We don't know if the person is trans. Yeah, we don't know. We know our appearances that he is. This is what I wanted to ask you. For real, this is a serious question, though. Um, I think, you know, because these, co these woke corporate marketing firms, they know that the customers don't want this. I think on some level they're trying to change their sensibilities to get a higher DEI score, the social credit score uh, that corporations get. Do you yeah, think that's some level that goes on? It's a super fascinating question. And what I would point out is there are lots of men pretending to be women mm -hmm. who are making lots of money yes. off of pretending to be women, uh -huh. which I think is an insult to women. Totally. But think about this. There isn't a single famous woman who is pretending to be a man. Mm -hmm. Right, so we talk all this time about the trans universe. I mean, you can maybe point to uh, the Ellen Page, Elliot Page situation, but she was famous as an actress. Yeah, not, not. And now her career is basically over now that she's a, a man. Yep. And so men, and I think it's, we don't hear this discussed much, but I think men just feel bad mm -hmm. because if you're a woman pretending to be a man, you probably are not that big, strong, or fast. You certainly aren't going to win a championship in sports. No and men just kind of ignore it. You're, you can do whatever you want. Women, it seems to me, my, my wife is big on this. This is the ultimate misogyny. Yeah. Because you're a man, and you're erasing women. Yeah. And you're winning championships. And now you're wearing women's bathing suits, and you're supposed to be able to embrace it. I don't understand why women aren't just like, this is ridiculous. Men, no pun intended there, men have certainly made that choice uh -huh. and and as a result this really only moves in one direction yeah right no i agree the only upside to this whole thing for real is they have single-handedly destroyed the gender pay gap myth <laughs> dylan mulvaney was a starving actor as a man he's been a woman for a year he's worth 10 million bucks woman of the year he's wo it's woman, of, woman the year. of the year the first year you're a woman i, mean, I don't want to hear it anymore yeah. it's over <laughs> Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.